How can us creationists explain these woolly mammoths? Obviously, they lived after the flood because they're in the permafrost. They're associated with the Ice Age because you find their bones on top of glacial debris in northwest Siberia. So they actually lived during and at the very end of the Ice Age. And we're following generally the Ice Age as, it, as uh, ice sheets were melting in northwest Siberia northward. They were kind of following up on them and then they, a lot of them died right on top of the glacial debris. So they're from the post-flood Ice Age period. So how does the Ice Age uh, account for them? Well, Here's how I think it happened in the unique post-flood ice age. The climate of the post-flood ice age had mild winters and cool summers at the beginning. And because the Arctic Ocean was warm, you probably could take a swim in the Arctic Ocean right after the flood. And because of all this warm ocean and warm onshore flow and evaporation, Siberia and Alaska would have mild winters with heavy precipitation. And so it was probably forested early in the ice age. But as the ice age grew and the Arctic Ocean surface cooled off more and more, it would cool off and it become drier. In the early part of the ice age and in the middle part of the ice age, it became a grassland. It'd be an ideal environment for woolly mammoths and many other animals that just slowly move up there by the millions and live there. Because it wasn't so cold in the winter, it wouldn't uh, challenge them because of the coldness. And there was no permafrost, so there weren't any summer bogs because at the end of the flood, it was newly laid sediments and they would have been from warm water. So there wasn't any permafrost by, uh, practically by definition right after the flood. And it would hold off for quite a while. Permafrost is caused by freezing temperatures from the air that, and it cooled the ground from the surface down. Permanently frozen soil, it doesn't thaw out except for the top in the summer. There's a lot of evidence that there was no permafrost in those regions. One of the animals that lived in uh, Siberia, as well as northern Alaska and the northern Yukon Territory, was the Sega antelope. And the Sega antelope has real small hooves, and they can't negotiate permafrost. They like wide open spaces of solid ground, which indicates that there's no permafrost. Other indications of no permafrost is that you had a lot of burrowing mammals. How can an animal burrow in permafrost? Two burrowing animals was the badger and the ferret. You also had beavers there, which I'm sure it'd be very hard to live in an area like that with permafrost. So there is plenty of evidence there's no permafrost, which is totally against the uniformitarian idea where they believe permafrost has been there for millions of years.